Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a very puzzle unboxing, and uh, a rather large box from Very Puzzle. Uh, it's been through the crushing machine. Looks like the box won rather than the crushing machine, but uh, that is par for the course for these uh, uh, packages that I'm getting uh, from overseas. All right, well, uh, as uh, uh, I'm sure you've seen on my channel, uh, Very Puzzle's been rolling out all of these uh, great spherical puzzles lately. Uh, I just, uh, I'm really, really excited to see all of the different puzzles. Um, very, very fun. I just finished uh, solving the rhombic Tudminx. And uh, let's take a look at what we got inside this box. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay, that looks like a seam. So I'm going to try try that. Uh, let's see. Let me do that. Yeah. So, um... The, uh, the rhombic tut minx is uh, the, the geometry, I remember the last video I made of it, I was talking about it being a, um, a spherical uh, transformation of a, of a, a rhombic triacontahedron. And, um, and I wondered why we had five-sided faces, because it, a rhombic triacontahedron doesn't have that. And someone in the comments mentioned that it was because it was a uh, truncated rhombic triacontahedron. And that's exactly right. Um, looking at some of the information on the Very Puzzle website, that's basically what they say without using those words. So yeah, um, so a truncated rhombic triacontahedron. Very cool uh, geometry. And I think there's, there's a lot of mileage that they're going to get out of it yet. So this is one of those extra puzzles that, that sort of comes out of this. I can get this open. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm doing all right here. There we go. Look at that. Got a slightly bigger knife here um, this time. Okay. Let's see now. Oh wow! Look at that. Nicely padded and everything. Oh, that's great. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. I think I shouldn't have pulled all that out. Oh, I think I'm at the bottom. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely at the bottom. All right, well, you know what? Oh, well. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, so that that is uh, the puzzle. And then there's just packing material left inside. And you know what? I'm just, uh, I'm going to put some of this packing material uh, in here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it, you know what? It's, it's, I really appreciate having the puzzle well packed because then there's no risk of having some problems. Now, in this package, I am expecting some uh, another set of stickers too, so I'm kind of hoping that they're actually in the bag here. Uh, extra stickers for a different puzzle. Okay, there we go. Um, Alright, I think we can put the knife away before someone gets hurt. It, it's got a little adhesive on it, but I'll just wipe that off later. Okay. So, um, let's take a look at what we get. This is a really nice bag. I just want to show this very puzzle bag. This is going to be really fun to carry this puzzle around or some of my other spherical puzzles around in a very puzzle carrying bag. This is a very, it's canvas, so it's uh, it's sort of a step up. Oop, here. There we go. Oh, this is great. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay, and there we go. There we go. That is the puzzle okay and we should have two sets of stickers in here um, one for the puzzle and then one and one spare so let's take a look here so yeah bag bag is otherwise empty but I'm, I'm gonna keep the bag that's that's great okay um, let's uh, okay so we need for all of these uh, spherical puzzles we, we need a stand <laughs> um, one of my uh, Facebook uh, friends was showing some uh, st around, I think they were football stands or something. I'm sort of wondering if we could use those. They, I guess they sell stands for collectible footballs. Uh, I'm happy with my candle holders. Uh, these are from a dollar store here in uh, Canada, so I don't know if they cost uh, more or less somewhere else, but um, I, I'm, I'm happy with them. Okay, oh, I guess we should have probably taken a look here. 
Sorry about that. I'm just, I'm, I'm over eager. All right, so uh, what is it? It is the Rhombic Triacontahedron V1.0 F1. So watch that. F1, uh, F standing for fragmentation. So they've added extra cuts to the rhombic triacontahedron. Well, what I kind of like about this is that by calling it F1, you know, they open the door. What's F2, 3, 4, right? You, you just don't know. So uh, so there we go. So it has all the usual data sheet on it. Uh, no babies or toddlers, 0 to 6. So, yeah, got to watch that. Um, so there we go. That is the puzzle. Wow, <laughs> that, is, that is, that is just awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, well, it turns, turns really, really nicely. And uh, very, very nice. Okay, so um, how does this compare then to their other puzzles? Now, it is a little bit unfair to compare it when it's not stickered. So let me just be up front here in this video. Um, I'm going to show it in its naked form and compare it, but then uh, I'm going to uh, pause the tape. I'm going to sticker the puzzle and then come back and it'll be stickered in the same video. So you don't have to wait. All right, so this is the um, rhombic triconthedron. This is through their first uh, spherical puzzle that they, they produced. I got to say, this was a lot of fun. It's not a super hard puzzle, but I really enjoyed solving it. And it was a really good introduction to the types of jumbling that this, this geometry is capable of. So you can see here that they have the long uh, pieces and they have the, uh, the tiny triangles and they have the long pieces and the tiny triangles, uh, but they also have another triangle. So it looks like, yeah, so there, there is that extra cut. Now, the other thing that this is going to have is, um, I think that they're going to have, oh, I see. Now, this is interesting because they don't have the, they don't have cuts on the pentagonal faces. Ah, okay, so this is, this one with an extra cut, which is is kind of cool because there's a lot of blocking that happens on this puzzle. And so instead of blocking, what you're going to have is a lot more pieces um, in the wrong orbits and flipped upside down and, and craziness like that. Okay, that is very cool. I, I was trying to understand what it was. Um, it's sometimes a little tricky uh, on looking at it on the website. And of course, once you get the stickers on, then it's going to be, uh, it should be a lot clearer. All right, well, let's take a look at the sticker then. Um, here, I'm gonna, well, I guess I'll, I'll leave this out for reference with the stickers. Um, I should have two sets of stickers here. And this, uh, yeah. Okay, so these are spare stickers for my Ray Minx, also known as the Giga Tut Minx. And uh, I had to get a spare st sticker set sticker set spare sticker set um for reasons <laughs> okay there you go maybe someday i'll reveal the reasons but uh it's it's mainly me being a dumb basically all right so uh the stickers uh here this is the uh the diy sticker set for the rtv 1.0 f1 okay so there you go that's the sticker set that you get 32 colors so I suspect that the sticker set's going to be very, very close to this. And if it is, I will use the same color scheme. It will be kind of cool having a, a puzzles with the same uh, color scheme. So let's just take a look at these. Um, whoa. This was a really high quality sticker set and the stickering was not that difficult. Uh, there's such large uh, faces on here. So, uh, so what do we have? Yeah, um, some I, I recognize this green right here. So indeed, uh, that green's there, the silver's there. Now, one thing you have to be careful, these are uh, pattern stickers. So you got to be very careful when you're stickering it that you, you pull the stickers off the sheet um, straight up. And when they give you spare stickers, yet you really need to avoid them uh, if at all possible because... Uh, 
uh, yeah, you, you, you don't want to uh, put the spare stickers in, it'll, it'll break the pattern. Um, yeah, okay, so that's uh, that's great. So you've got these. So the, the thing that's going to change a little bit uh, on this um, uh, on this is is the uh, these little actually yeah these stickers will change probably okay um, kind of hard to see uh, if I if I can actually peel a sticker sheet here I guess that would that would help all right let me see what it what it looks like here so this. Oh, you can't even see that, but um, this is just, I'm just removing the strap from this uh, sticker sheet. And it's actually not bad. Normally I use a hobby knife as I'm doing this. I'll just, I'll just show you what I'm doing here. Uh, normally I use a hobby knife just to just to grab any of the little stickers that, that uh, don't quite want to come along here. But you can also do it this way um, for well-cut sheets. Um, there we go. And then once I take the scrap off, I don't actually throw the scrap away until I'm completely done the puzzle for a couple of reasons. Um, the, the most obvious one, um, yeah, so I just kind of put this, the scrap in a kind of a, I just kind of hang it up. Um, one of the most obvious reasons is if I lost a, a sticker, and I actually did right here, um, and I don't notice it until later, uh, so that's that's one reason to not uh, throw the scrap away. And then if I ever damage the sticker, and you know I've, I'm pretty good, and it's been a long, long time, but I have damaged stickers before, and uh, you can sometimes use the scrap to make an extra sticker. Just cut one. It's actually not bad. I've got a couple puzzles where I did that. Okay, so that is a sticker that belongs there, so uh, the pattern will be preserved. It, it doesn't maybe look at, at it. So now we see the difference um, between actually if I, if I rotate this so that uh, we can compare it, um, you can you can see the difference. I hope um, in the, in that there's an extra set of pieces in the whoop, yeah in in these these parts right here. Let me um, point them point them out. So there, right. So that piece on on this puzzle is solid. And on here, it's it's in two parts. So that's the main. I think that's really the the main difference here. Okay, very very cool. All right. Well, that's as far as I'm going to get with the naked rhombic Tutmix F1 variant. So uh, what I'm going to do now is go off and sticker this. Um, for me, I don't know how long it'll take. Not too long. Uh, but for you, it'll be instant. And uh, just as soon as I finish saying this, we're going to come back, and it will be stickered. And we're back with the RT 1.0 F1. That's the fragmentation version, all stickered and ready to go. Uh, I am really happy with this puzzle. Uh, now that I've had a chance to uh, uh, really look at it up close, I spent uh, quite a bit of time stickering it. And uh, I'm really, really thrilled uh, with this puzzle. Uh, now that uh, the uh, stickers are on, uh, now it, it should be uh, quite a bit more obvious uh, what the differences uh, between the two puzzles are. Basically, the uh, fragmentation version, um, instead of having just, uh, let's see if I can get this, um, instead of having uh, a two-part edge where the, there's a big part and then a triangle, and now we have three parts to the edge, a uh, small triangle with the two-colored edge, and then another sp small triangle. Now, uh, one of the uh, things about the stickering and about this, this uh, new version that, that may not be immediately obvious, and I really want to point it out, that these faces now, uh, they all have a texture. And so I was very careful with the sticker sheets to uh, to make sure I got the, the textures on right. Um, which means that these five new pieces are different than the uh, triangles that were on the uh, original uh, RT. 
The triangles that were on the original RT were all in the matte sticker areas. Okay, there, there are no uh, small triangles in the textured sticker areas. So now we have these five new pieces in the uh, textured sticker area, which means this sticker is textured and when you're pairing it up with its corresponding edge, you have five um, silver, in this case, five of the same color pieces, and it only actually goes with one of them because it actually has a texture that matches. Okay, so in other words, this, this uh, triangle, the texture will go across, and it has to match that. If you try to put it, say, over here, well, the sticker will be going across this one, but then this, this uh, sticker, um, it, it's going sort of sideways on it. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll match. Um, there's one other insidious thing about these. And I don't know this because I haven't scrambled the puzzle yet. But I can tell you that on the uh, Rhombic Tut Minks, these little triangular pieces, the equivalents, they rotate. They're like, they act like corners. And if these rotate, <laughs> then you're going to have to orient them in addition to finding the, uh, the edge that they go on. It is really quite a uh, challenging modification. It seems like a very small change, but it is really quite an interesting uh, addition. So all of the new pieces, then are on these textured stickers. Um, that's uh, that's really really cool. So I was thinking this was going to be a fairly trivial uh, uh, change, but it's really not just because of that. And um, yeah, it's it's going to be quite a, an interesting uh, solve, I think. Now one thing I didn't do in my uh, unboxing because uh, it didn't really make a lot of sense when the stick, uh, puzzle wasn't stickered. Uh, one thing I didn't do was compare it to the uh, rhombic tut minks and I think it's uh, worthwhile to do. I'm just going to grab the rhombic tut minks right here um, and we can then sort of see what what we're up against here uh, what the the differences are. Um, I will tell you the rhombic tut minks is uh, another level above this I think in terms of difficulty but you know it, it's it's going to be a lot closer these two puzzles are going to be a lot closer in difficulty than say the rhombic tut minks and the RT the original RT so we have a hex face here on the um, rhombic tut minks and we also have a hex face on the RT and we have, now this is, actually I'm going to have to rotate this just a little bit. It, it is kind of complicated because it's um, basically on the, let's see if I can get something like that. Okay, this is actually closer. These two faces, those two faces, I think it'll, it'll actually be, uh, be a, a better uh, comparison. So we have the pentagonal face right here but it doesn't actually rotate there, there's no cuts there where on the uh, rhombic tut makes the uh, pentagonal faces do rotate so that's a major change now the orientation of these uh, hex uh, hexagons whoops there and there um, it's uh, these ones are they're oriented slightly differently and one of the things that does um, is it is it shifts these edges uh, onto the uh, the pentagons for the uh, rhombic tut mix. So you'll notice that the hex uh, the hexagons um, faces are all kind of oriented where they have one edge always facing a, a pentagon and in fact it's on both sides. Um, this actually makes moving certain pieces quite trivial. The big triangles and the big edges, actually they're fairly trivial on the um, Bromic Tut Minx because the pentagons can step one step at a time. It makes it really, really easy to move stuff around. Um, 
so yeah, and I, I use them quite a bit for setup moves and stuff like that. So we don't have the easy uh, face moves on the um, RT, uh, on this F1 variant. Um, and the other thing that's a little different is that the these edge pieces are kind of on kind of on the ends of the hex hexagons and as a matter of fact I yeah I guess these, they're still hexagons yeah um, but they're they're kind of more or less in uh, where the edges were uh, on the Romic Tutmix so so basically on the Romic Tutmix this has been uh, sliced out and then it rotated so that it forms an edge so it's quite different actually uh, but we still have the same tiny little pieces and on the aromic type makes you, you also have those small little pieces which do have a pattern and <laughs> it's a bit of I mean I found it fun but it, it, it is daunting to um, line those up because these do rotate I can tell you and they do have to be um, put uh, paired up with the correct uh, color uh, and for the most part it's okay where I had problems was there's two whites and I did have a little bit of trouble with that um, and there were a couple other ones I think that I, I um, had just a little bit of trouble with but it wasn't like it wasn't a lot of problems it was just those couple of of faces that I have problems with. I think the golds as well uh, caused me some problems. So that's the main difference then, or the main difference is the uh, Romic Tut Minx has a pentagonal face which actually makes certain parts of the solve easier but you have way more pieces to solve. So it, it's a bit of a give and take on there. I'm just going to put this back away over here. Um, so yeah, in terms of ranking the difficulty of a solve, uh, I'd say this would be the easiest of these, then this, um, then the Romic Top Mix. That's what I'm thinking anyway, but who knows? Maybe uh, maybe it'll be uh, uh, a little bit different uh, once I get started with this. So um, one of the things uh, we could probably try to do on here are some uh, algorithms, sort of see what we can do. Um, now. These will step in 180 degree turns in their normal rotation. So if I wanted to do uh, some kind of algorithm where I'm three cycling these uh, leaves or these edges, I would have to turn adjacent uh, adjacent pieces uh, 180 degrees. And there's the, whoa, there's the three cycle. Now, you'll notice I'm having a little trouble here. It's a little bit slippery to do that. Um, one of the options um, that I, I use when I'm working on the puzzle is just a cloth. And this is just a dish cloth from the whoop, dollar store. Um, and it just, it, it keeps the puzzle from rolling away too badly. Um, protects the, uh, the stickers. And uh, gives me just a little bit of grip uh, to work on. So I don't know if that's something you would do or maybe just use your stand or somebody will get a football uh, holder who knows so um so that little three cycle i just did cycled uh, pieces it's nice and clean um and that's non-jumbling uh, turns and it looks like we went there 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 so that's a counterclockwise rotation of these uh, three pieces so you can see that it actually would be fairly easy to um Come up with algorithms on this if, if that's your thing because we can isolate one of these little pieces move a new one into place and then cycle them back so that would give us a three cycle of those little uh, corner points that's actually not a bad algorithm to have uh, because uh, we're definitely going to end up with a few of these left over at the end uh, and they might actually be a bit of a pain to uh, to work with anyway so uh, now to get this back, we could reverse what we did. Start on this side. And yeah, I really don't want to uh, scramble this up. I know I sometimes uh, do a scramble on these things uh, right off, but really don't want to scramble this up because I want to do, do want to come up with a couple of these algorithms just to have them in my pocket before I turn this into uh, a ball of confetti. 
Um, now there is, we could try a, a jumbling turn, which is where we're, we're only going, I don't know, what is it, uh, 60 degrees? And now, where are we going to, are we going to, yeah, we have to go all the way back, I think, for the, the second half of it. All right, so, so we did some 60 degree turns, and that's actually not too bad. We three cycled those. Um... However, uh, we did something which is kind of tricky. We we flipped this one, um, which may not actually matter. It, it may be um, because the edge doesn't block anymore. It may actually be okay. Uh, in which case, I might dial back my assessment of this as, as being harder uh, than the other one. Um, yeah, because if it's in the wrong if you have uh, one of these okay it's it's gonna <laughs> it's not gonna cooperate is it um, so if I had one of these backwards it would actually block adjacent pieces so what I'm actually seeing here um, is that there is no blocking going on so that actually makes it a little bit easier um, still gonna be a hard uh, puzzle but it not uh, not quite as challenging as this one that did all sorts of blocking. Uh, it's interesting. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, kind of happy to see that. Okay, I'm starting to change my mind about uh, doing a scramble on this. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's great. So um, the stickering of this took uh, quite a while now for you. It, it didn't take any any time at all because um, I just. Uh, I said I was going to go away and sticker, and then boom. I didn't really time it. I probably should have, but I really didn't time it. Uh, but let me kind of show you the amount of work that went into the stickering. So this is all the scrap from all the, the big uh, sticker sheets. So that all had to be pulled off. And then the scrap from the small sticker sheets. Uh, so that, that probably took at least an hour, maybe 90 minutes in itself. Um, the stickering then was, was pretty uneventful because once I had that uh, the scrap removed, um, the stickers were cut really, really nice. Um, and then I just had to make sure uh, that I kept everything uh, on the same uh, pattern and only took the stickers from the, the part of the sheet that were the, the original pattern because the sheets do come with extra stickers. You can use them if you lost one, but then um, it, it may not quite line up with the pattern uh, on the textured sticker. Now there's nothing to stop you from going out and uh, getting some smooth vinyl sheets um, uh, stickers, getting custom stickers, then that would make these a little bit easier. They would basically turn into trivial um, corners. Yeah, so that's the Rhombic Triconthahedron V1.0 1.0 F1, so the the fragmentation version. I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. And I'm glad I got it. I, I wasn't really too sure what it was because when you're looking on the website, it, it's kind of hard to see. But uh, yeah, I, I really, really appreciate this uh, puzzle. All right, well, uh, that's it for this uh, uh, stickering reveal. And uh, as always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think of uh, this uh, puzzle. Are you going to get both? Are you only going to get one of them? Um, or do you prefer the rhombic Tudminx? Um, what else do you think they're going to do with this uh, series of puzzles? It would be, be kind of interesting to know what, what your predictions are. All right, well, uh, and that's it for me. Until next time. All right, and this is the bonus content for the RT V1.0 F1. Uh, during my uh, sticker reveal part of the video, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to scramble it straight away because I wanted to work out some algorithms, but you know what? Uh, let's just go for it. That's what I say. Uh, let's just go for it. So, uh, like the uh, RT, I think the, uh, and really the, uh, yeah, like the RT, um, I think the uh, getting started should start with uh, 180 degree turns of the faces, which is uh, a non-jumbling scramble. If that's all you did, this would be a fairly trivial uh, challenge, but still probably quite a fun uh, challenge. So it's not 
it's not a terrible thing to, to start with. Um, if that's what you, you know, you just want to have a nice, fairly easy uh, solve. We, we don't always want to, you know, go out for a, a 10 kilometer run. Sometimes we just want to go for a 2 kilometer run, right? Okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, I, uh, this may require some algorithms at the end. I'm not really sure to, to cycle those little um, triangles around. Um, obviously, if it does, I will uh, come out with a video uh, fairly soon then, uh, if it does. Um, otherwise, <laughs> that will be... That'll be it. Yeah, so that's the... I, and it, you know what? This isn't really going to jumble. Um, it's going to... Uh, what's the word? Uh, scramble. That's it. Yeah, because uh, these uh, edge pieces are all symmetrical. So you will get the uh, edge pieces. They, they, um, they'll be reversed, but then, uh, you know, flipping an edge piece is, is pretty well standard fare uh, for um, any puzzle that you're going to be uh, solving. So... Um, yeah, kind of a, okay, so we're just, oops, okay, well, I accidentally put that piece back where it belonged. So this is a problem, this is a, a, not a whole pile of pieces are moving all at once here, so it does take a little bit to, uh, to get a good, good, thorough scramble. Um, and now that I have that, and now that I have a, you know, a decent scramble going, um, now I can start. Uh, doing the, doing, I, and I, I won't say jumbling, I just, we'll start doing the 60 degree turns. Um, there might be a little bit of blocking uh, if the, if the face is left in, it, it, you know, in, in the misconfigured uh, like this, so I left that face. So th in that case, there is a little bit of blocking, uh, but uh, it's, it's not, uh, fairly easy to fix as well. Um, okay, and I just I just literally solved that piece right there. So, okay, so um, yeah, the, the, so the the issue here, or the, the 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 nice thing here, is that you don't have the headless pieces that uh, you get over uh, for the. Well, I'm pointing to a puzzle you can't see. Um, the when you jumble the pieces on the RT, these little tips can get if, if the uh, edges flip these little tips can get uh, knocked off <laughs> and um, and then you really can't use that piece until you uh, somehow find a way to attach a tip to it a little triangular tip because it, it just it doesn't work yeah so this is this is really really cool I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this now um, you may see me working fairly hard on the um, on turning the circles. I think part of that is that the, the, the glass uh, a holder uh, makes it, it slides around a bit. Um, and then part of it is just that everything's so new on the puzzle. It does, you know, it'll take a little bit uh, of breaking. Just a little bit. It's not, it's, it's really quite good as it is. Okay, so there we go. And yeah, it's already starting. So, you see that breaking, breaking the tips away. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that these uh, triangular triangular tips are going to uh, rotate. Because um, here's the thing. All right, let's see if I can find it. So let's say I take uh, this one right here, and I take it on an orbit around. This pentagonal face so it's gonna go one two uh, three now I gotta, I gotta fix that I gotta fix these so everything will turn four uh, and then five well, the five is not a multiple of the three sides of the triangle, which means, as far as I can tell, that this and this are going to not uh, be in the same uh, alignment. 
So in other words, we've, we've rotated that triangle uh, and we haven't rotated it back to its starting position. However, <laughs> I just I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up because I want to show you that um, I, I don't always get it right. Uh, that looks like it's lined up just fine. Yeah, it is lined up just fine. So maybe I'm wrong about that. That maybe they don't rotate, or maybe I just miscounted. I don't know. Or maybe when I rotated this back to join them up to test it, I rotated it uh, out of place. I don't really, I, I don't know, I, I guess I will have to figure, you know, have to do some more experimentation. Okay, well, I thought I would learn something there, um, but I didn't. But you know what? Sometimes learning something when you're doing an experiment or you're, you're testing an idea, um, sometimes things not working out the way you expect it, you, you learn stuff, right? It's, it's good, right? Um, as long as, yeah. So, yeah, so the tea towel, I, I kind of like the, uh, the tea towel that, uh, that it gets a, okay, well, <laughs> I'm not being very effectual here with the uh, scrambling, so sorry about that. So I, I think you can probably see here that the uh, an actual decent scramble is, is a fairly involved thing. Um, you're going to have to uh, spend quite a bit of time uh, scrambling. And um, yeah, making sure that, that it's not just a trivial thing. Um, I'll show a little bit of the scramble. I don't know how thorough I'm going to end up being here. Just knocking the tips away is uh, is probably part of it. Yeah. So these puzzles do take a lot of work to scramble. Uh, What I've uh, been doing, uh, I think I've been kind of not lining the uh, hexagons up, the faces up, really very well. Uh, it's a bit of a... might be more efficient to actually just always put them back. I'm not really sure, though. Huh. Certainly fun to just kind of leave them... There we go. So we're getting some pretty good mixing up of things now. So yes. Um, hmm. Okay, and now I've just kind of got that. Those faces are blocked because I hadn't turned. Yeah, that's not going to work. They're just trying to split that. There we go. Okay, maybe that's the... Maybe that's what we should be just aiming for, is to just try to split all these um, pointy bits off. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if I really... I'm really making as much progress on that as I thought. Hmm. All right, well. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, so, all right, well, you know, it's getting it's getting scrambled. Uh, I think that uh, it's probably going to take a, a bit more uh, scrambling for sure. And uh, it, is, it is really cool. Um, I think the solve will be a little bit different than the uh, RT. Uh, the original RT, just because there's there's steps I don't really have to do. Um, for the RT, I started by um, 
uh, getting all of the bandaged faces fixed up, unbandaging all the faces. Not a super necessary step. It could have been, um, it, it could have been just skipped. But I just like it because then when I start solving the puzzle, uh, you know everything turns. I'm not having, I'm not getting blocked uh, all over the place. So I just, that's something I tend to do. Uh, it's, it's just a bit of a, you know, quality of life thing, going around and making sure all the faces turn, uh, even though very quickly they get blocked back up again. And in fact, that's my method on puzzles advantage is they tend to uh, unmanage everything at the start and then, you know, every once in a while during the solve, uh, go back and, and get everything unbandaged again. So just, uh, I'm, I'm sure that there's some people that are much better at puzzling than I am that, that don't do it that way because they, they don't need to. <laughs> so, all right, um, I'm looking at this this tip here and what I'll do is I'll just I'll per persist here until I get that one split and then, um, and then maybe I can just call it call it a day on this uh, scramble. Maybe I'll well, I mean I'll I'll keep scrambling it off camera, but I think you've seen the kind of seen the basics of it. It looks pretty cool already. A um, little bit more to go, I'd say. I'm probably going to do about another five or ten minutes of scrambling, and uh, then I'll I'll start my first solve. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, um, I I can't uh, I can't emphasize just how happy I am with this uh, puzzle. The very puzzle's been uh, really cranking out some really great puzzles lately. Uh, really happy with them. Um, I'll just I'll add the uh, the top mix to the uh, to the mix here because it uh, really shows where they're where they're going. Um, you know, can't wait to see what they do next. And this is hours and hours of uh, puzzling fun right here. So uh, that's it for the bonus uh, scrambling content for the RTV 1.0 F1, the fragmentation version. It's going to be a cool solve. And uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think of this puzzle. I, I'd really like to hear it. And I'm out of here.